Greetings, NBA fans. Welcome to 2K Sports. I'm your host, Ernie Johnson, and seated beside me, Kenny the Jet Smith and the Diesel, Shaquille O'Neal. In a few moments, we'll be sending you out to Philadelphia as the 76ers go up against the Phoenix Suns. For Phoenix, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And before we tip off, I just need to ask Shaq, when you think back to great teammates, uh, what are the qualities that make a great teammate? Well, you want to play the guys who care as much about the game as you do, a guy who puts the team first, a guy who gets you involved, a guy who has the same dreams and aspirations that you have about the game. Well, that name sounds like Kobe Bryant to me that you were talking about, but I always look for guys who could push me. I mean, and I could push them at the same time where we could work together. I mean, it's a family, the basketball team, you're playing for 82 games. You need somebody that's going to be in your corner. Wouldn't you like to push Kenny? Push him out the set. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting As long as I could push you back. Uh, you may not be able to. Kevin Harlan, take it away, kid. as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. What's good, guys? It's this is Kevin Harlan on five and I'm back with more Anthony NBA 2K16. The, the fans here in Philadelphia ready to cheer on their 76ers in this interconference mansion. So Phoenix will get the first possession. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Setting the floor for the Suns. Ludzo and I to the backcourt. Tucker and Morris holding the forward spots. And it's Chandler in at the center, filling out the middle. Six on the shot. I'm already fucking up. Now here's Roten. Not a lot of room. Trying to find Thompson. He gets it to him. And it's good. Hey, guys, the Spurs coaching tree extends pretty far these days. Coach Brett Brown, another former member of the Spurs staff, to be leading an NBA team. Now, here's Knight. He dishes it to Chandler. Back to Knight. 11 feet away, and he gets it to go. <laughs> wow, risky nice little lucky there bounce there. Wise, but the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Well, the quick high release negated any height disadvantage he had right there. Roten with it, guarded by Bledsoe. Can't get it to go. And Phoenix the other way now. Really uh, the right play defensively if you can't block, force them to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And the second free throw, good. Well, guys, what a nice surprise Tony Roten was last season, especially effective taking over at the point, Clark, with Michael Carter-Williams gone. Yeah, Roten put up a career-high five assists per game and really worked Damn it. on the defensive end as well. He's one of the few talents on the Sixers roster that hadn't been traded away. No oh, the computer shaking, my, shaking the job. camera, too. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. And for Roden last season, he even took on more of a scorer's mentality. Went up in points, went down in field goal percentage. But like a boxer, he gets a little extra credit for pushing the CPU shaking my camera screen so I mess up my free throws. The next step in his development is to produce at the same level but with greater efficiency. Too often, his highlight reel pass has led to turnovers. He would gamble defensively, too. Oh, good block by Tyson Chandler. Philadelphia as it goes out of bounds. 76ers retain possession. Shot clock at five. The 76ers need to get off a shot. That's another miss. Good Already defense, Chandler. Three out of four to start. 
Knight passes to Morris. Back to Knight. Chandler with the screen on Thompson. Knight dishes to Chandler. And it's going to be two free throws. Uh, Jack down the shot. You know, there was a time when, when some thought Tyson Chandler would be a draft bust. But, you know, it took some time before he found his niche and has been one of the best bigs in the NBA for the span of his career. You know, that, that, that shows you also when you draft guys out of high school, they're going to need a couple more years to really define. Oh, I got an excellent release for Tyson Chandler. 76ers making a switch here. Marshall's checked in. Chandler was a bit of a late bloomer, but you can't argue with his presence on the floor now. Well, he won a title and embodies what you need to do in order to win titles. I mean, Chandler makes all the difference on defense, and that's why teams would just still want him even late in his career. On defense, Philadelphia. They trail by three. Chandler is screen. What's up with it? Oh, that was meant for P.J. Tuck, right? <laughs> But, oh, he ran out of bounds. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. You can't afford to give him that kind of a look. Well, you know, he came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you got to do a better job of fighting over and through that. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan. Morris, why are you running out of bounds? Those kind of baskets at the hoop. Now, here is Knight. Bloodshow outside. Out to the right wing. Morris against Noel. And Tucker kicks to Bloodsoe. Four on the clock. And the Tucker Damn. finish it off. A beauty. And, folks, he does more than just put two points onto their lead. He does it with a little bit of flair. Uh -huh, he sure does. You're right. It's a dazzling move to the bucket for him. I'll tell you what. He may not be the biggest man in the league, guys, but he more than makes up for that lack of size with amazing aerial skills. Listen, playing Western Conference teams is never easy. And for the 76ers last year, it got downright ugly. Some games against the West, they just didn't stand any chance. It's Knight with the drive, Thompson with the rebound. Uh, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Noel a screen on Morris to the middle, up off the screen. And Noel lays it up and in. A lot of blowouts for Philly last year against the West, as you talked about. Greg only managed to take six wins in their 30 games. Clark got a conference. And Kevin, that was tied for the fewest wins against the West in the league. But again, no surprise with Philadelphia because they really were focused on developing young talent there. Here's Covington. Brandon Knight picking up that last basket. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Covington shot is off. You know what? His finishing ability, not really at the level that you would expect from a pro, but he's going to have to start playing with more force. Now here's Knight. Chandler, the pass to Morris. Knight wide open, nailed from three-point land. Knight's got seven points in the game. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. That's his first personal foul. First free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. Damn. And he makes both free throws. Franks. The shot no good. Oh. I kind of wonder if that would have gone in. Play. Most likely not, though. Ahead, but that's okay. Four. Live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Let's hear from Tyson Chandler. He talked about what he brings to this team. 
I do a lot that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. That's what I pride myself on. You know, some nights you're not going to get the ball, but uh, you still can be effective on the floor, uh, whether that's rebounding, playing defense, hustling, trying to create extra shots for your team, whatever it is necessary that I feel like help my team get a win. Chandler has long been the kind of player all coaches want on their team. He's the definition, Greg, of an unselfish player who doesn't care about his ego or his stats. And, and he knows that and, and prides himself on it. That, that also makes him the kind of player his teammates appreciate so much because they know nobody wins any rings without a guy. Good block like by Justin Alex. Chandler what the f? What? So Alex Len blocked it, but somehow Tony Rowe managed to get to underway. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? They come out the gates here strong and put together just a solid first quarter. A ton of good looks for them, Greg, on offense, and it's quality. Good move. Ah. Oh. Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. They've got Warren, Alex Lynn out there with John Lewis, and it's Sonny Weems, and it's Price. What the it's hell? And looking at Joel Embiid, he has all the tools to be the game's next great center. He's raw, no doubt about that. He'll have to overcome the injuries, but his combination of side speed, agility, practically unparalleled. Mirza Toledovich has checked in for Phoenix. Good on both. Regarding Joel Embiid, what makes him even that much more unique as a young seven-footer excellent shot mechanics and a feathery touch in college at kansas he shot greg 63 percent from the floor many of those were face-up jumpers and as the season wore on he, oh, but the, he what the fuck at the free throw line as well those are the kinds of unique attributes that make him and oh he's flopping i did and i missed and he's just going all out to get the second chance points, just a terrific finish. There was no one that was going to prevent MGA from converting that. Oh, one. what the hell? Well, clearly this is the kind of game that could come down to one or two plays, and he wants to be the guy to make those plays. And you saw how quick the defense was. They were ready for him. They got the hand in the face there and made that much more difficult. Yeah, and every team needs that kind of rugged interior defense because you want to try to distract your opponents when they get inside, and you also want to make them uncomfortable in their shot attempts. Warren dishes the land. Yeah, if that would have spun out. I would have lost my shit. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers, and theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. And Landry throws it down. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. Now, here's Price. Jesus Christ, does nobody have any plays on this team? Oh, Alex Lynn does. Shot clock at five. Oh, I wish I wouldn't have stopped the first time. A three. No good. And the 76ers go the other way with it. And on the bench for the Suns is Jeff Hornacek, probably one of the tougher coaches in the league. He'll bend your ear. Oh, I thought he was going to miss. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little playing, over two I am playing minutes. very, very sloppy right now. The feed to Warren. with the block. Here's Stauskas, and he hits it to tie the game up. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. What a year for the Suns in terms of transactions. Start of the season with Dragic and Thomas on the roster and moved them both Clark with the deadline. And you know, most All right, come on, guys. Come on. And after his disagreements with the team, the Thomas trade was a bit of a surprise, though. And the 76ers with a completely new group now. For Phoenix, they've gone 2 of 6 in the field in the second quarter so far. Outside night. 151 left in the first half of the game. Morris with the screen for Knight to the paint shot clock at six and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot and as you said the Suns made a flurry of deals 
Oh, shit. Again. My bad. You knew they would move one guard, but ended up moving two. Brought back oh, my God. The computer just wants me to. God, you son of a CPU. be some adjustment, and they did fall off a bit. Still, they felt what they had wasn't quite good enough going forward, so they got a jump on rebuilding last year. And the second free throw, good. The 76ers trail. And Marshall kicks to Noel. Right wing. Okafor, the pass to Thompson. He feeds it to Noel. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Well, Phoenix shooting has been terrific. 54% on the game. Right on the wing. I should have taken that jump shot. 111 left here in the second. Back to Bledsoe. There's the dish to Tucker. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Tucker's got five now. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. Plus some big ones as well ever since he came into the league. Clark, he's been a tremendous glue guy. Yeah, he's a Velcro guy. You don't want him Played to bring a bunch or gotcha. a lot of threes, but he's physically imposing, and he gives you what he's got. You know the effort is always going to be there with him. Get up, get up, get up. Phoenix on defense. They lead by four. Okafor in the post. He's guarded by Chandler. And it's Okafor missing. And, and talking about P.J. Tucker, he, he's really played the same role the past three seasons. Excellent inside-out defender, tremendous rebounder for his size. And he really plays within his limitations, taking only shots he can make. What the fuck? also not turning the ball over. For Philadelphia, they've gone three of eight from the field since the beginning of the second quarter. That's good. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Chandler dishes the blood cell. He sinks the 11-footer. Bloodzo's got six right. points. Go. That's a nice job of getting the ball in the paint and burying the shot. That's exactly how it's done. And here's Marshall from the arc. No luck. And the first half comes to a close. Man, just We've got a close sloppy, game going on here. sloppy playing. Suns lead by four. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. At the end of the period, they held a four-point lead. The second quarter was dead even in terms of their scoring output for both teams, and they still find themselves in a good position at the half. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? You know what jumps out at me? Their efficiency on the offensive end. They shared the basketball. Good shot selection. They showed a lot of patience, and that patience will be tested the rest of the way. Shaq, what do you think about Philadelphia? You know, two things went on in the first half. Yes, we saw good offense take advantage of mediocre defense, but we also saw a motivated team take advantage of a team that didn't want to hustle. They need an attitude adjustment. And that'll do it for now as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call. contested first half so far one of the stories here Brandon Knight getting it done today he yeah, created a lot of quality shots for himself why don't they just scam the cheerleaders from each team too for the double team game. and that led to a very high points per shot number for him for those of you that are into analytics that stat really tells how efficient a player has been and he's been very efficient so far well 
clearly the 76ers were the youngest team in the league last season and with all the draft picks they've stockpiled they'll be the youngest team for a while it seems but if the youth can grow and develop they could also be a force in a few years too. Robert Covington out there with Noel. Then it's Thompson, then it's Tony Roten, and it's Okafor, and at the five, roaming the paint. And that's the group for Brett Brown as we begin the second half. Here's Knight, Philadelphia able to drain the three. Here's Chandler. No, Chandler, I wanted a pump fake. That's good from Roten on the assist from Covington. And the 76ers lead by one. Here's Bledsoe. He's got six. To give you an idea of how young this 76er team is, at one point last season, Greg, Tim Duncan had more seasons played in the Get in there, bitch. than the entire active roster of the 76ers. That's hard to fathom. Isn't I mean, we, we all know there's this youth movement going on in Philadelphia, but they, they still need some veterans in that locker room. Very hard for the young players to lead. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. Now here's Bledsoe. Outside Knight. Just five on the clock. To stop the run. Thompson with the rebound. Damn it. That's not how you want to kick off the second half with three straight misses. Kicks it to Roten. Good ball movement here by the oh, Covington was open. Dishes it to Noel. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. It goes on Brandon Knight. Last season, the first season of action for Nerlens Noel, officially a rookie. After sitting out the 2014 season, he looked good, and he got better as the season was going on. A great point. I think that year off really helped him. Can't shake the camera player. when they He's shoot the, the fucking free throw, but out. they shake it for me when I shoot the free throw. What kind of shit is this? I had ever seen. And you know what? Everything he was hyped up to be, he lived up to on the defensive end. And the Suns miss again. What a sluggish, muddy start to the second half. Still scoreless. Noel sets a screen for Jackson. Noel, a screen on Price. Jackson kicks to MB. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. And for Noel, uh, really come on, he man. Took off in the back half of the season. Up to scoring, his shooting percentage, and his rebounding. You can see him getting better almost every game. Carl Landry's checked in for Philadelphia. Clark, they've been looking out of sync offensively. You know what? A basket here would do a lot for their confidence. Jackson against Price, and the shot is good. And by the end of the season last year, Noel was completely different as a player. Always a defensive force in the league. His development is probably going faster than many expected. Here's Jackson. Good defense. Run. And now Warren running the floor all by himself. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Oh, that was a great angle we just saw, courtesy of Kia. Roten, and he gets the bucket. Roten's got five now. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. Now, here's Price. Plan a screen. Price, the best to Teletovich. Oh, what the? Oh, my God. Why didn't you do a layup animation? Here's the pass to Stauskas. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And it's a seven-point Philadelphia lead. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Yeah, they have really owned the interior. You've got to collapse that defense and force them to beat you over the top. Weems' shot is good. 
46 seconds left to play here in the third. Stolen away. And they're running. Here's Warren. And Where's the foul, ref? Roten's got his third rebound on the night. Pass to Embiid. And here's Stauskas from the arc. Shot is no good. And Phoenix will come the other way. Oh, whoa, what the? Here's Weems. Price with the ball. Guarded now by Jackson. Out of bounds. Oh, come on. I tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. And if they're smart, they can hold it for the last shot. To me, that's got to be the target. Make sure you manage the clock effectively so you do get the last shot. Step behind the line. Damn it. And Marshall kicks to rope. One second left. No good. And that's going to do Just it for the third quarter. Shitty, Seven shitty six for me. Ahead, up five. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And I can't quit. All I know is. All right. Come on, Phoenix. Let's do this. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well contested game. Suns trail by five. And Phoenix looking who they've got on the floor. Bledsoe and I to the backcourt. John Lure is out there with PJ Tuck. And it's Chandler in at the five. And that one's good. Oh, man. I was hoping that would go in. Bledsoe. Yeah, that, that's careless defense, though. I mean, he's one player you can ill afford to let run free. He just loves to be a money player in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Marshall. Pass to Okafor. He kicks it to Marshall. Let's it go from the wing. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's Lure. He's covered by Noel. Lure dishes to Chandler. Uses both Good pump fake. Down. How about that fantastic finish and the aggressive move, too, Kevin? Trying to send a message, Clark, with that slam, I think. And, and I'm not sure if it was text or email, but he definitely <laughs> threw that one down. Philadelphia with the ball, following the score by Phoenix. There's the pick. Noel passes to Okafor. Lock at six. Picked by Okafor. Covington kicks to Marshall. From outside, off the mark. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the defense has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull that trigger. You've got to be in his face. Oh, I thought it was a three. Any space. And you can see, Clark, that he has garnered the attention of the defense here. They are not going to allow him to get those kinds of looks. And Philadelphia calls time here. Tell you what, guys, it was a bit of a mixed bag for Eric Bledsoe last season. Average career highs in rebounds and assists. Those were the good parts. Played through Brandon reason, Knight. Okay. And three-point percentages dropped 30-plus points. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Brett Brown as he addressed his team. He told them, this is it, fellas. Let's hit them right out of this timeout. Good defense, Chandler. Them. Show them how much you want it. Let's go get it. Guys, he's really exhorting them to give them a burst of energy. Thanks again, Doris. And talking about Eric Bledsoe, he took on a lot more. I should have taken that shot. Season, Greg, especially after the trades in Phoenix, he became the main focal point of their offense. And, and you know what? It was his first year of kind of being the man. Signed the big contract coming into the season. And, and now there's a responsibility didn't tweak his ankle. that goes with being the go-to guy. Eric has the talent to shine, though, in that role. He hasn't really done much on the offensive end. But he's worked within the team concept to help them get the lead. He's done some other things other than scoring to help his team get the lead here. Now here's Budzo. Feeds it to Tucker. They find Jay on the way. The shot is off. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Thompson outside. Passes to Noel. with it. 
He dishes it to Okafor. Nice D from Chandler. The Suns trailer. Here's Tucker. Uh, PJ. For Philadelphia, they've gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one mate. Here's a screen by Noel. Marshall dishes to Covington. Chandler Good with the defense. Rebound. Chandler's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Knight. It's good. Only a few seconds. Thank you. Shot clock. And the Suns lead by one. I tell you what, fellas, we're seeing some really good ball moving out there. Definitely. Ten of their last 12 points have come Acting like he six. made the game winning Time shot. Game ain't over yet. Sixers. They're losing by one. 129 left in the fourth quarter. Roten's checked in for Kendall Marshall. Checking in for the 76ers, Tony Roten. I, I played sloppy this oh, fuck. Three and a half minutes have gone by. I, I've been playing sloppy this, this entire game, and I don't know why. Absolutely. I mean, six lead changes here so far. Exciting yeah. stuff. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any. All Chandler. The feed now to Okafor. Yeah, I'll take it. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And, and Kevin, maybe the play of the game right there. A tremendous instinct spray to come up with a steal and then attack the basket. Game changer right there, guys. An unbelievable... No! Ch really Why won't Chandler fucking pump fake for me? Come on. Kind of get in his way a lot Don't. When he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Fifty-eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. Roten, the pass to Okafor. It's in! He's played an important role in their offense today, guys. Without him, they may not be in the lead. For Phoenix, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth. Four of nine. Here's Morris. Oh. Here's Chandler. The second chance effort sinks it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Just a grinder, always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass, and that's one of the things he brings to the table. Here's Roten. Some solid defense from Knight. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. The shot by Blake. No, why would you? Okay. Oh, it was a two shit. Bucket to bring them within one. 24 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now we've got the intention. And I can't even shake the thing. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. He's going to make it. And the second Called two it. is good. That will put them up by two. <laughs> Phoenix calls timeout. Possibly, they possibly could have won. In the fourth quarter of this one. Chandler is screen. Once so kicks to Chandler. Can't cash Chandler! Why do you... Why do you keep shooting it? but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. Yeah, but Greg, they didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who'd go to the line. <laughs> My God, Phoenix fucking layup timeout. animation. Is that too much to ask for, Chandler? Like, fuck. Seven seconds left to play here in the fourth. Seven seconds left in the fourth. And again, it's the oh, Suns missing. my God. They stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. You had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. And you know what, Greg? Who knows? If you miss it, he's going to make it. And they're right there within range. You know, late game free throws are a lot different than early game free throws in terms of making. Ugh, just...
sloppy play on my Time part. And it just... They're behind by four. Three sloppy play on quarter. my part and Tyson Chandler guys? not well, doing very something so fucking simple as a layup. And then get a quick foul. Oh, so now you guys want to make it. Scenario. And really the defense not organized on Come on. Clearly there is not enough time. And the 76ers call time here. There's 1.7 seconds left. Left in the game. Stolen by Tucker. Oh my god. Oh, come on, no! Shit! Oh, man. This was a close game, I will admit it. Sloppy play on my part, and Tyson Chandler not doing something as simple as a layup also as well. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. So long, everyone. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Kevin, thank you, and now we get a chance to check out our Jordan player of the game. What are your thoughts, Kevin? He went about his business tonight so efficiently on the offensive end. It was very savvy. It was a heads-up performance. It seemed like he had his hand on about every single basket, from scoring to assist. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight, but we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan and the entire 2K sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.